Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Shanika and this is day nine in our sunrise to sunset summer yoga series. Practices that are designed for you to do both in the morning and in the evening time. So the practice we have today is a lower body yin stretch. This is the ultimate lower body practice. We're targeting the hip flexors, the outer hips, and the hamstrings. If you've been doing a lot of walking or just getting up to different activities and you're looking for a nice relaxing lower body opening practice, you're going to enjoy this one. You will not need any props. However, you can have uh, two blocks on standby just in case you decide to reach for it. Today I'm drinking some strawberry, cucumber, and mint leaves in my water just to make it a little less boring and a little bit more refreshing. So grab your beverage of choice. I hope you enjoy the practice today and I will see you on the mat. Starting today in a child's pose. So let's bring our knees nice and wide. Big toes to touch at the back, sending your hips back towards your heels. And from here, walking your hands out as far forward as you can, bringing the forehead to the floor. Nice deep breaths here. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently lift the gaze all the way up to a seat. Close the knees. Just sitting back on your heels here for a few breaths.
And gently from here, we'll make our way into a deer pose. So to start, coming to your seat. So taking that deer position, bringing your left shin parallel to the top and your right shin parallel to the side of the mat. And for today, you're going to attach your right knee to your left foot. So to the sole of the left foot. And then hug that right foot, to right heel in towards your bum. So the top of your toes are pressing down on the floor. Readjust your seat. Bringing your fingertips behind you, push down into your palms, pick up your hips, tuck your tailbone under, and then set yourself back down. So you could stay right here, or you can come down onto one forearm to the other. You can also bring your forearms onto blocks, or maybe you come all the way down onto your back. And if having the left knee down on the floor, pointing to the left is uncomfortable, also point your knee towards the ceiling, whichever one feels best. I'm gonna bring my arms up overhead. And just notice if you're scrunching, we have a tendency to avoid feeling that sensation because it is quite intense and just allow the body to relax, allow the hip to soften. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Very gently, if you had your hands overhead, Bring your hands down. I take my right hand and I bring it onto the heel of my right foot. Push my right elbow into the floor. Roll to the side. And come all the way back up. So from here, we're just going to come down now into a deer. You might want to open up your deer just a little bit. Readjust, inhale, making sure you're squaring off your hips towards the top. And then gently fold forward.
Last few breaths here. Last two breaths here, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently push into your palms. Come all the way back up. Lean your weight into your left hip and swing that right leg around. Do the same thing on the other side. So this time you're bringing your right shin parallel to the top of the mat, left shin parallel to the side of the mat. And then closing the gap, so gluing your left knee to the sole of the right foot and then hugging your left heel in towards your bum. Bringing your hands behind you, push down into your palms, pick up your hips and tuck your tailbone under. Set your hips back down. You can stay here on your palms. Come down onto your forearms. Or maybe all the way down onto your back. And it does take a while to really settle in a pose, especially an intense pose like this. But just watch, just notice the scrunching and that left hip, try to soften. Last few breaths here. Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. 
and sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently from here, grab a hold of your left ankle if you can, prop up onto your forearms, or roll onto your side, whichever one feels best for you. Push up and find that seat again. Readjust, so walking that left shin closer to the top and then widening the gap between your left knee and your right foot. Square off your hips to the front, inhale. And exhale to fold over that right shin. And just take your time. So as you're in deer and you're feeling that nice stretch in the outer right hip, the glute, you're also feeling remnants of the last pose, reclined, reclined heroes. So feeling a cooling sensation almost in the left leg, but that stress or stretching sensation in the right. Last few breaths. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently push into the palms. Come all the way back up. This time you're going to swing your left leg forward. Bend the knees and just gently rock side to side. And from here, we'll swing our legs down, spin around this way for this one. So you're going to bring your legs down the length of your mat. Move the fleshy parts from out underneath you so that you're nicely grounded on your sit bones and your feet are in more of a V position. So there's a gap between your feet. Palms face up, inhale here. And exhale, just allowing yourself to gradually fold forward, letting the weight of the head go.
Nice deep breaths into the back of the rib cage. Last few breaths here. Taking our last two breaths, nice big inhale, and sigh it out, again inhale, and let it go, gently lift the gaze, Coming all the way back up, bring your hands behind you, scoot your hips forward, and come to lay all the way down onto your back. And we'll make our way right, in a, right into Shavasana. You can keep your knees bent, bringing your feet as wide as the mat, and just letting your knees knock in, or extending the arms out wide, legs out wide. Inviting little flickers of movement back into the body. Wiggling the fingers, the toes. Rotate the ankles, the wrists. 
And reach the arms up overhead for a nice long body stretch. Reach, 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 reach. And on the exhale, let it go. Bend the knees one by one. Rolling onto your side. You can cradle the head and the upper arm. And gently push yourself up to a seat. So just humbly bow your chin in towards your chest. Let's take a nice big inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears. And drop them down on the exhale. And gently opening the eyes from here. I hope you enjoy this lower body in practice, uh, really getting to the hips and the hamstrings. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, share with friends and family, and I'll see you back here again soon for another practice.